We now welcome Teresa Kluckman, a candidate running for the Victoria ISD Board District 1 seat. Welcome to Community Crossroads. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure and it's been wonderful getting to know more about you, Teresa, about your run for candidacy, but also your work in the community. Tell us about that. Well, I started Restoration House Ministries back in 2009 after my own bout of trauma, childhood abuse, and uh, depression. So I started that and then that led into the resale shop, which we have in the community that, that has showers for the homeless and we have jeans for teens for teens. You know, so just really getting in there and working and, and providing what's needed in the community. And it, it's been a it's been a journey, but it's been a very rewarding one. And there's a huge need for, for thrift clothing available to students, to parents, people just trying to get to school, be in dress code, and that's a huge um, support for the community. Yeah, it really is. We also provided 200 palm dresses for uh, the night wow. to shine as well. So basically it's from the community to the community. They donate to us and then we turn around and we bless the community with it. We do sell what we can, but we do give a lot away as well. It helps uh, pay the bills for the home for the women because we don't charge them for any part of the program at all. And you want to keep paying it forward, not mm -hmm. just by continuing your work with Restoration House Ministries, but also through serving on the board. Yes, yes. What inspired your run? Well, initially I was asked if I would consider it, and, and to be honest with you, my answer was no. <laughs> that that had never been something that I thought of doing. Politics or anything like that is not in my purview at all. Uh, but, I, but they did ask me to pray, and I began to pray, and, and my family, and we went into prayer over it, and just felt led that it was something I needed to, to do and look into, and the more I researched it and talked to teachers and parents and, and students and really looking at you know, our public school system here, uh, I felt that it was a need and important to, to make the run to do this. And some of the big items on your platform, they include reinstating or kind of reviving that relationship between the classroom and the parents. Yes, I, I feel that there's been, um, I'm not saying there's a lack of transparency, but there is a perception of lack of transparency in the community, just from the people that I talk to. Uh, so, you know, and, and again, I'm not there. I'm not on the board. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm on the outside looking in. So I, I'm not saying anything that they're doing right or wrong at this point. I'm just saying what the community is saying and that they're feeling that, that they, there's no trust or lack of transparency. And, and I'm all about transparency and just being open about things. So I would like to see that repaired. As sure. well as repairs to, to, to buildings, maybe potentially some buildings getting rebuilt. Yes, yes, and definitely repaired. Uh, I did visit Stroman after I decided to run because I, you know, there was so much talk about Stroman. So the the school was uh, gracious to let me take a tour of that, the uh, administration. So I did to see what needed to happen for Stroman. There's also a lot of other repairs that need to take place. You know, I'm I'm over two, well, really three campuses in a resale shop. <clears throat> you know, so I'm all about maintenance and what needs to get done. And we have our budget, and we make sure that things don't just get patched; they get fixed. You, you have know, that so perspective as a I business do, I owner. I do of looking at things like that. So that's important. And restoring discipline in the classroom. We talked a little bit about corporal punishment. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the ways <clears throat> to enforce discipline. But talk to us about your, your yeah. platform. No, I'm, I'm really not about corporal punishment. I think those days have come and gone. Mm -hmm. I work with, with families from trauma uh, that come out of a lot of abusive, situa abusive situations. So I don't believe that that's the way to go. But what I have learned working with children from that, from coming out of trauma is they do want boundaries. They want to know what those boundaries are, and they do need consequences to to going over those boundaries, to stepping those. They need that, and our teachers need the support from the school board and the administration when they do want to implement that in their classroom. They need the authority back to be able to do what they need to do in the classroom. Uh, children that are given too much room and don't have boundaries tend to become even more cha more chaotic. Uh, and it's hurting them, it's not helping them, and I've seen it again and again, so. Discipline is all about boundaries. It is. It is. Well, thank you so much for coming on Community Crossroads to talk about your run and, and for all the work that you've done and continue to do for our community. Well, thank you. And don't go anywhere. Coming up, we hear from another candidate running for the Victoria ISD Board.